Welcome to a new episode of Shara's Diary. I mentioned this briefly in an old vlog from December, but I started doing The Artist's Way in the beginning of this month. And if you haven't heard of that book, I will leave a link down below, but it's basically like a 12 week spiritual experience to higher creativity. So I'm starting week two right now. I won't talk too much about my experience in my vlogs because I'm, I'm planning on putting it all into one video from week one to week 12. So it's going to be really fun. Um, I'm really excited to share my insights, my experience, but through Shara's diary, I will probably share with you like where I go for my artist dates. I'm not going to go in depth because I want to save all that for my 12 week experience video. But yeah, so today I'm actually going to go to a public library that I used to frequent when I was a kid. I have very fond memories of this place with my dad, so I think my inner child would really appreciate going back. And I just want to be surrounded by books. And yeah, I'm hoping to find some inspiration from some art books there. I will share what art supplies I'm bringing with me. Um, I'm for sure bringing my Hobonichi, but I don't know if I'm going to draw my Hobonichi there. 15 minutes later. By the way, I didn't mention this in any of my vlogs, but at the end of each month, I will be doing a flip through of all the pages um, because I don't really plan on sharing a process for every single day. Um, so I think it'll be much better to just compile it all into one video at the end of the month. And I'm also bringing my Muji sketchbook and it's just a very simple cover with tons of pages. Then I have my Glossier pink pouch with my Schmincke watercolor set. 24 half pan, still going strong. Gosh, I've had this since 2015, okay? Haven't hit pan yet. And I cut out a piece of cloth to use as like a napkin. Once this is dirty, I can just throw it in the washer. And then I have a white out because I do tend to mess up when I'm writing. Um, I have a few micron pens. So of course, I have, oh, why do I have two zero zero five? Let's test it out first. This one's good. Okay, I'll leave this one home. So I have one zero zero five, zero three, and zero five. And then I have my Muji mechanical pencil with zero point five lead, my favorite one to use. And then my Pentel click eraser. And lastly, my Pentel Aquash water brush. All right, so that's what I'm bringing with me. Now off to the library.
Okay, so I probably spent maybe an hour and a half in there and it was really cool. It's just so nostalgic, just looking through the book selections. There's like a lot of like old school arts and crafts books that I remember personally when I was younger. Going to a library is kind of like a blast from the past, like you're time traveling to a different time in history. But anyway, I need to run an errand before I head back home. It's a great morning, no afternoon actually. <laughs> but yeah, gonna head out now. Hours later. It has been a very productive morning and it's rainy today and my niece didn't go to school today because she's sick so I don't have to go out driving the rain which I hate doing <laughs> it's just a cozy day at home so earlier I answered some emails and then I went into what you just saw bits pieces of what I filmed for my one hour draw or study with me video. I love these videos. I love these videos because I kill two birds with one stone. I'm able to really work on my Seattle zine and you get to see the process of some of the pages I'm working on, but it's also a great way to hold each other accountable. Like if you need some motivation or you need to focus on a task, whether you're studying for school or you just want to work on something this is a great video um, i really do love jazz music you've noticed in my vlogs I, I always have jazz music playing in the background because it really soothes me i feel like i'm more focused when i listen to jazz music in the background i do listen to lo-fi music too which i will be adding into this new uh one hour draw and study with me video i'm pretty sure i'll have this video up after this vlog. Yesterday, I stopped filming a bit because I got a headache on the way back home from the library. You know, after I, what was I doing? Oh, I was editing videos. That was the last thing you saw yesterday. And I was editing the rest of the night. I was like in editing mode. I've been working on a lot of video content, which really excites me. And I think it's important to 
focus on the things that really bring you the most joy. So if you haven't noticed, I have been posting more YouTube shorts. What I've thought of doing is posting the process of some of my Hobonichi pages, mainly the ones where I'm drawing in them. I did one of this one of my niece and this one too. So basically this whole spread. So I, the first one I did was on my first artist date and then this one of my niece. So check it out. I think I'm gonna do a process for today as well. I love doing like scrapbooking pages and taking some of my favorite quotes from like Pinterest. So I think I'm going to do that. Actually, I just thought of this deck that I bought a few years ago. It's the universe has your back. I haven't used this in a while, but I figure I would just pick one out. I think I did this when I was still doing my bullet journal. Um, I remember sharing this in that video which was probably in 2020 or 2019 but yeah so it has really cute images in it also i think i i kind of want to bring back my what was it called my mindfulness deck i think i shared that in one of my podcast episodes on here but i might bring that back maybe pull one for every, not probably not every Shars Diary, but just whenever I feel called to, just to bring in more mindfulness to our day. So I'll probably share that in the next episode. Oh, already. <laughs> so this one says, thank you universe for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of the highest good. I think I'm going to splash some color with my gouache paints. This is the acrylic gouache. So are we gonna go with the same color palette as this? I don't know. Oh, let's have fun with this. I'm gonna close my eyes and pick three colors. One, two, three. Okay. I don't know how it's gonna look, but <laughs> let's roll with it. I'm not gonna think too much about this. You know, gotta have fun with it. So dried up. Oh shoot. <laughs> Let's just do that. <laughs> I squeezed it too much. Whoops. <laughs> wow. Let's just roll with it. It's probably gonna look ugly, but you know what? No, it's gonna look pretty. Let's not do that. Sure. Gonna look amazing. We're not striving for perfection here. We're just having fun with it. Letting my creativity one run one. <laughs> Letting my creativity run wild. Just letting my inner child do its thing. What a beautiful, messy page. <laughs> I'm gonna let that dry for a bit. So I saved a lot of craft paper from packages I received. So I'm gonna use this I'm too impatient. Let's... The wet paint will stick to this and it'll dry up, so. I did add some adhesive to it, but the back though, just in case. But. Mm. It's 
covering a lot of the pink. Maybe I should go over it again. This is so therapeutic. <laughs> Just splashing colors to a page. It actually looks nice. Okay, let's let this dry for a bit. have been acting up again. Actually, it's been acting up all year. <laughs> ah, it's so annoying, honestly. Perfect! See, everything turned out really nice. All right, let's... Come on, sneeze, come out. So I'm going to let this page dry up. It's looking real nice. But that is it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. I definitely had fun um, yesterday going on my second artist date. But anyway, I hope you all have a great day. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.